Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Um, today I thought I'd show you how to do a, another smoking video. The other Hawaiian smoked meat uh, video kind of did well and it seems like people were interested in trying to smoke stuff. And I try to do it where I think everybody can do it as long as you have a grill, you don't need a fancy smoker. The last time I used my electric smoker and I showed you how to use a Weber grill to smoke things. But this time I'm gonna try to use the Weber grill so that everybody can hopefully do this. Um, we're doing it today as a pre-Thanksgiving Eve meal. We always do it. Um, and we use usually t turkey hindquarters, something small. I don't like to use a full turkey because we're gonna have that on the actual Thanksgiving day. But this is also a good recipe for those that are empty nesters or have a small family or just wanna eat turkey but don't want the whole turkey and all this leftover stuff. So. Definitely can use turkey hindquarters. If you're in Hawaii, you can definitely find them in the frozen meat section at times. I've seen it there. Um, this time we got our turkey thighs. We didn't get the actual hindquarters, which includes the drumstick, but this is just the thighs. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, but it's no different if you do use turkey legs or the whole hindquarter, which means if you're not familiar, the thigh with the drumstick connected. So we're gonna put four cups of water into a big bowl. And then I use the zest of a lemon, about half of a lemon, and zested it, and you're gonna throw it into the water. Be sure to not use the white parts of the lemon skin, just the zest. And then you're gonna put one fourth of a cup of brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, you can use white sugar as well. One fourth of a cup of Hawaiian salt or any kind of rock salt. I'm gonna mix everything together real well. If you wanna cook it on a stove top, you can and cool it, but you don't have to. I defrosted some turkey thighs for a day. It's got a little bit of frost on it, but that's okay. You can still put it in semi-frozen and it'll still be good in the brine. I poured the mixture of the brine into a double bag Ziploc so it doesn't leak. And make sure to get all the little bits on the bottom if you're not boiling it and squeeze all the air out of the bag and seal it and I made sure to put it in a bowl so it's easier to flip you're gonna flip it after 12 hours and it's gonna marinate for 24 hours after you're done marinating it you take it out of the bag and soak it in water for about five minutes to get all the excess salt out I like to use Bell's seasoning it's from Massachusetts it tastes really good and gives that authentic Thanksgiving flavor plus it's salt free so it gives all that awesome herb taste without the salt because you already have a lot of salt in the brine you can find it at times and uh, I put it on both sides of the turkey and you can also get it under the skin as well. So I have this charcoal in this bin and it's the chimney that's starting it up. It's all hot and ready to go. Um, you can refer to my Hawaiian smoked meat video if you don't know what I was talking about. But pretty much I use this grill that I got from City Mill. You can also order it off Amazon. But you can find these at City Mill and they flip up and down in order to put your bri briquettes in a uh, Weber type organizer. And uh, it, this is what it looks like. You get two of these. So I have one in here already. You're going to put your briquettes in here and also your wood. Uh, this prevents it from sliding to the other side because you're going to put your meat on the side where there are no briquettes. So you're only putting the charcoal briquettes and the wood on one side of the grill. That way your meat smokes and it does not burn. So I'm gonna put it in there right now and show you what it looks like. So if you didn't take, uh, if you didn't look at my other video, this is what it looks like. You have your coals on one side, this uh, little pan here keeps it on one side, you're going to put your meat on this side where there are no coals. That way it does not um, burn the meat. And this is what I was talking about, the flip grill. It flips open and it shuts. That way you can keep adding coals or wood as you go along, uh, but you don't need to refill it too often. So we're going to heat this up and I'll show you the rest of it. So I got my two turkey thighs. I put, um, as I said, 
the bell seasoning on it. You don't really need to put anything too salty on it because you already brined it with some Hawaiian salt and that sugar brine overnight. So I'm going to put these on the grill on the side that doesn't have the coals and furthest away from the coals if possible. So this is my favorite wood to smoke poultry in, especially turkey and chicken. Um, really goes really well with turkey, I think, and it makes the uh, skin look, have a nice golden color, and it's not too heavy. I like to use fruit woods, but this is cherry wood. I think it's the best fruit wood for turkey. Um, I think it gives it a ni nice mild smoke flavor. You don't want it to overwhelm poultry because it's so, um, it's different from beef and pork where those meats you want a kind of hefty smoke such as oak or mesquite. But um, I wouldn't use any of those on poultry myself. That's my personal preference. I think it overwhelms it. It gets kind of bitter and um, very acrid and not pleasant tasting. So cherry wood is very, good for it. It's easy to find. I got this at Home Depot. Usually you can find it at Walmart, but for some reason they were out, so I had to go to Home Depot, but usually you can find it most places at a hardware store. So I don't go too crazy when it comes to poultry. I just get a big handful of this. You can get chunks. I would just put one big chunk if you have chunks. These are chips since I use my electric smoker as well, so I get chips. Uh, you can use chips. Just get one big handful. And then you're just going to toss it in there. I put the cover on and you're going to open the vents. Try to put the vents on the side where there's the uh, meat away from the fire. And it's going to go and smoke and give a nice pleasant cherry smoke flavor to the meat. And I usually leave it in there about maybe two to three hours. You really don't know with smoking. You really need a meat thermometer if you're going to smoke meats, especially poultry. You really don't want to get the Hershey squirts or the salmonella poisoning from eating undercooked chicken or turkey. So definitely get your meat thermometer. It should read from, some people say 165, but I like to be between 170 to 180 just to be safe. So we'll use that later and let the smoke roll have a beer while we wait. All right, so I added maybe 10 more coals in there after one hour, it kind of went down. And then you can see how the turkey is browning very nicely. Then I added another small handful of cherry wood and let that smoke for another hour. All right, so I have my old school meat thermometer. My other one, I tried to use it broke because I probably didn't use it for a while, the electronic one. So I bought another one. Should be coming in soon. Um, yeah, it's about a little over 170, but I wanted you to see all the juice that comes out after I poked it. See what, ooh, look at that. All the juice. See what this one's at, right at the bone. That one's a little bit not at 170, so I'm going to move it near the fire. We still got a little bit of coals. It's been about only two hours, so not too long of a cook time. Maybe have it go for another half an hour and we should be good. So there's our finished product of our smoked turkey thighs. If you're not familiar with smoking, that is not raw. That is the smoke ring that you get when you smoke any kind of meat. It's the ring on the edge of the meat that tells you it's smoked. As I said in my other video, you cannot achieve that with an electric smoker unless you use Morton's Tender Quick. But it's a scientific method, and I'm not going to go into it. You can Google it or whatever, but it has something to do with the oxygen uh, that you don't get in an electric smoker. But nice smoke ring on this turkey, and it came out well. So yeah guys, that's pretty much the smoked turkey thighs. Like I said, you can use uh, turkey hindquarters or turkey legs to do the same recipe. And I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you can try it. I know this is probably coming out a little too late, but if you do have it on hand, it doesn't take too long. Not as long as doing a whole bird in the oven. And you can do it uh, and enjoy your Thanksgiving in a small way. So this is pretty much a plate of everything and the finished product of our pre-Thanksgiving meal. 
And uh, if you like this, subscribe and check out my other videos and press the like button and I'll see you again. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a good weekend and enjoy. Peace out.